With the dust now settled on the first weekend of the Diablo 4 beta, the word on the street is that it is a return to form for Blizzard and the series. With the game delivering previously unseen layers of gameplay and mechanics that have gone down really well. Uh, rather than centering on technological updates, the game seem to be delivering best in terms of overall design, gameplay, and storytelling. Uh, the game delivers a tone and atmosphere that is disturbingly religious and literally baked into the game. Its story subverts expectations and manages to be genuinely creepy. Uh, and the player development doesn't just add more power to your character's skill set, but rather impacts how players approach the game and find a best fit for their style, allowing for experimentation. While Diablo 3's skills often would boil down to maybe just a slightly different visual. Uh, have you guys played this at all? Have you seen this? I've seen it, but Chad's been telling me that I'd probably like Diablo. But I've, and I've been thinking about giving it a shot, but uh, I don't. Yeah. There are PC games, though. No? Am I? You're yeah. muted. Chad, you're muted. Also, let me get that screen, Papas. <laughs> um, yeah, give me one second. Let me stop sharing this. There. So you yeah, I mean the the game the game is normally it came out on PC Diablo one Diablo two but they've made adaptations into actual like um you know like console and uh, Marcus uh, we were talking about it in the group chat he's gonna buy this one as well and I'm gonna buy it because it's gonna be like a group kind of game where we're all gonna be able to play together and have specific roles it was just right. gonna be like okay. really good like really cool Anton I think you might really like this game like I think you might really like this this one because yeah it's the same thing where you pick a role like you kind of have a you know a role in the team it reminds me like i've said a couple of times of uh oh the game escapes me now um ah uh, so that video way back when i'm gonna think about it in the meantime i'm gonna dial up this live action trailer gauntlet legends check this out gauntlet legends shad the legend my boy it reminds me of gauntlet legends we can play a little four player action although we will not be in the arcade this time without further ado the beta live action trailer this just kind of i thought this was a good look um, because it kind of tees up like the the vibe again. The game is really winning in storytelling. That's what the review said is like, like it's fun, like it's a good story, it's a good world. So this just kind of gives you a, a bit of the story and, and uh, maybe what it feels like. Can you hear this? Yeah. Hatred has returned, and she shall not relent until she has corrupted us all. But somewhere in the shadow of her darkness, you must cast your light to find hope in a flash of steel. A wrath of nature. It's like an Anton game. Or power of flame. You must stand up to hatred, or she will destroy us all. Your time is now. There was a I seen a trailer for this as well that was that had the actual like the the main evil character, and the, the level devil? of detail. Uh, it, Lilith, I believe, is the character, um, and it looks unreal like the level of detail diablo games have always had like the best cinematics i was ever. just gonna say yeah, the ever. cinematics for gamer next level no oh, they've been ahead of their time them and blizzard like with old school world of warcraft they had the best like cinematics i remember being like 14 13 freaking out on like 1080p not even 1080 but it was just so ahead of its time it's crazy i was yeah. just looking at like okay, I shouldn't I shouldn't play this because it's been like way too long and there's like no not enough audio. Uh, but I was looking at the the cinematic release trailer of it too, as you guys were saying that. That's and you're one. just like you're dead on. It's so it's so badass. Uh, yeah, check this out. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this is the one I saw. You saw this one already? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll kind of yeah. skim through it, but yeah, this this just looks gorgeous. Um. And it, again, is, they're winning in terms of storytelling, tonality. This is a commercial. Like, this is a commercial for the game. Uh, 
don't know, man. It's the holy battle. Plug us in. And that's, that was cool, too. You see when they're talking about, like, uh, flame yeah, sure. or, or where beast oh, or whatever. It's like, yeah, like the different classes, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This looks fun to me. They were really hyped. They said there was some cool stuff, um, even just, again, in terms of story, where, like, apparently in the beginning when you're trying to enter, like, the first city, they ask you to confess a sin and they give you a choice to, like, uh, like between the types of sin that you confess. So it's not like you have to literally write in one of your own real life sins, but it does start to build your character, you know, in terms of, of personality, right? Have you really thinking about who they are that you're embodying, which I think is really fun. And, um, I don't know, people are really hyped. It was, it's a much hyped game, but it seems to be delivering, which is, you know, rare these days for a beta. Did you, what was the release on the game? Did you happen to have that? I'm sorry. I didn't. Was it in June, Chad? Yeah. Why, why does why do I feel like it's in June? Uh, sorry, I could have looked it up. June sixth. June sixth. Yeah. I don't. I don't know why I knew that. I guess because I did sure. research. Fair enough. That's, that's uh, Nick Lucas's birthday and Zane actually. Shout out to the homies. Hello. This nigga's Rain Man over here. What is this? <laughs> you got Nick Lucas's birthday in your head. <laughs> Well, no, because I remember, I, I only remember because uh, him, because it's 6'6". Six, six. Uh, what's, what's it called? It, uh, him and Zane, both their Lewis. birthdays are 6'6", six, six, and that was graduation day of uh, high school. So I, remember, I always remember I that their birthdays were full Rain Man just right now. It's all 6'6", six, six and also tested. What was the mm-hmm. score of the Cavs-Lakers game on June 6th of 1986? 114 to 91. See? This man's a, he's a beast. He's out here. Fucking memento, dog. If I fucking start oh. losing it, I'm going to... Doctor Strange as <laughs> Ooh, is Doctor Strange the best superhero? He might be. <clears throat> um, moving in. No randoms. <laughs>